All right, so following along with the FPV theme, I'm going to show you a, a new project we're working on here. So here we have the breakout board. We're going to help with all our wiring. So just a PCB, positive, negative, positive, negative. You guys get where I'm getting with that? <laughs> and here, the big brain flight controller itself. We have all our leads here. It plugs into the transmitter. We have all our pins that need to be soldered onto the flight controller itself. And here, inside the electrostatic bag, I'll show you that. It is the Naze 32 flight controller. Get out of there. All right. And as always, here, we're going to bring it up close, see if we can get it to focus. <laughs> Maybe, no. I think we're having issues with the camera slash uh, lighting here. Come on, bud. The camera should be able to focus on this. There we go. Back it up just a tad bit. A little bit more, maybe not. <laughs> Sorry guys, half of the footage is spent here trying to get it to focus. Why don't you guys get a good look at that. And there we go, as we back it up, it looks clean. Got to work with my uh, angles of approach here. So everything needs to be soldered on there, pins, so on and so forth. It'll be fun, I like doing that kind of stuff. And here we have four ESCs. I'm going to pull one out of the package here so you can see. And this is, is the Luminaire, or as they would say in French, Luminaire. <laughs> see if we can get this to focus. But ultimately, this here is a 12 amp ESC. Nice and small footprint. The bolts and everything. All we have to do is solder some power to that. And here we have, new to this company, Sunny Skies. Not much of a flight guy. This is the motor we went with. I know I shouldn't be opening that with my teeth, but that's all I had close. <laughs> I forgot the letterman on my desk. All right. So, motor's out. You have the spinner, the prop holder, whatever you want to call that at the end there. And this one I know is going to be a pain. We're going to try to focus on this, but this is a Sunny Sky Outrunner 2300 kV. New to this, so I can't really... <laughs> I have to trust what people have been saying, but this here is a little bit big for what I'm running, and that's what we're looking for. We want tons of power. You can be an FBV racer. better be quick. All right. So all that is nothing without a frame. And this is what we went with, the Emax 250 Carbon Pro. Let me get this out of the box. Yeah, instructions. No need for that. <laughs> Alright, let's throw the box in the background here. And first things first, I'm going to open up the bag with the hardware. And here, we went with the green theme, so all our little posts are anodized green. We got some plastic grommets. Longer green, uh, what did I call those? <laughs> Links, I guess. I'm a crawler guy, you can tell. More screws. And we got some nuts. Another bag full of screws. Smaller stuff. Some more longer screws. And we have the grommets here, which are for the, um, not the gimbal, but I guess it takes away the wash where the uh, camera is going to be mounted. And here we have is the chassis itself, the carbon fiber pieces. And this I was told to be careful with, a lot of dust, so on and so forth. So give it a nice soapy water bath before you get cracking on the build. Another, that's the upper plate, or maybe that's the battery retainer. I don't know. <laughs> and that looks like the upper plate. And... That's where our camera is going to mount to. That's a boom. Should have three more of those in there. There's the second one. 
Uh, not even gonna lie, I'm not sure what that piece is. We'll know as we build. And there's the last two final booms. So this is gonna be my first 200 or 250 size FPV quad racer. So I'm pumped. Should have some build footage soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.